Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another video. This one is a review of the LG G4. And it's crazy to think that this has been out now for almost a month. So I've had a lot of time to use it, to play with it, and it's been my daily driver, as I said, for the past month. And I think this might be one of the top contenders for best Android device of the year. I'm thinking this and the Galaxy S6 slash S6 Edge. Let me know what you think. So the LG G4 is naturally the successor to the ever so popular LG G3 from last year. It has a very similar design, but this time it has the slightest edge to it. And by slightest, I mean you almost can't notice it, except if you're placing it face down on a table. And you can kind of make it out on the side profile, but this phone isn't meant to be bent like the LG G Flex. Keep that in mind. When we look around the device, everything is smooth on the sides, and on the bottom we do have the micro USB port for charging, as well as the headphone jack, and just like the LG G3 and the LG G2, the buttons, the volume rockers, and the on and off button are found on the back. Might take a bit of time to get used to, but it isn't too big of a learning curve. The G4 still comes in a couple different variants. We have the plastic version here, as well as a ceramic and leather if you're looking for a more premium feel. And remember that the back is removable. I believe it's one of the only flagships that do have a removable back. And with that comes the option to replace the 3000 milliamp hour battery, plus micro SD card expandable memory up to two terabytes, but those are pricey. And my final word on build quality, it does feel sturdy, nice to hold in the hands, obviously not as nice as feeling glass or aluminum, but in no way does this feel cheap. The display, it has a 5.5 inch 2560 by 1440 IPS display, and due to the small bezels, just like the LG G3, it doesn't feel too bulky in your hands, and the display is absolutely gorgeous. The camera, which has been much hyped, is a rear-facing 16-megapixel sensor, dual-LED flash f1.8 lens, super quick to autofocus. It is laser autofocus, so it shoots out a small laser that bounces back to the camera and will focus in a couple milliseconds. The front-facing cam is a 8-megapixel shooter f2.0 that takes pretty decent selfies, but it isn't the best front-facing camera I've seen. One really cool feature is the manual mode, and from here you can change things like white balance, manual focus, ISO, and for all you camera geeks out there, this is an awesome feature to have. Great to see this from LG. Here are a few sample pics, just remember all of these are in auto mode. Naturally, it is running Lollipop 5.1 out of the box, and if anyone can get more than one on this game, let me know. God! It's also paired with the fairly latest and greatest chipsets. We've got the Snapdragon 808, a 1.8 GHz 64-bit hexacore processor, Adreno 418 GPU, and all of that reflects nicely on the Geekbench 3 benchmarks. And when you're actually using the LG G4 in real life, whether you're gaming, playing 3D games, simple games, switching between applications, browsing the net, checking out photos, launching apps, multitasking, I think I got everything in there, the LG G4 performs almost perfectly. Sometimes there are hints of lag intertwined, and that stutter happens very rarely, maybe when you initially launch the application, so less often than most, and it shouldn't be too big of a deal breaker. And as I said, when you're switching between applications and navigating the homepage, all the UI of the G4 is extremely buttery smooth, maybe with the occasional peanut butter chunk thrown in, which is a hiccup, thumbs up reference for food. Other than that, we've got a few unique features to the G4, some of which we've seen before. The first is returning, which is not code, so set a specific tap pattern to unlock your phone. Next off, we've got smart bulletins on the left, and double tap to turn on or off your phone. 
Battery life on the G4 is pretty awesome. I've had it over a month and it has never died on me in a full day's use and I'm a pretty heavy user. And just remember, if you're say a super user, love to use your device streaming videos all day, you can always swap out the battery in the back, which is a super plus bonus. If there's one thing I could criticize about the G4 is the speaker quality or the sound that comes out of the back is not the greatest, a small little sacrifice to pay. That was my review of the LG G4. If you're on the fence, if you own one, if you're thinking about getting one, leave all your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you guys like this review, be sure to smash that like button. And remember, I have my daily vlog series going up, or my weekly vlog series, I should say. I post it either every Saturday or Sunday. Make sure you check those out. It's a nice little change up from all the tech videos on the channel. If you want me to keep up my vlog series, as I said, let me know down below in the comments and I will catch everyone in my next episode. Peace.